Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a splendid day. I know I am. And today I'm going to be talking about um, GTA Online and how you can grow um, and also what you should do with your money at the start. Write down some notes, I guess. This is going to be an in-depth guide um, of, of how I became how successful as I am in GTA Online. And yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy. And if you do at the end, smash a like maybe subscribe if you're interested road to 200 we're like two subscribers away um yeah all all support is appreciated thank you anyone now let's go yeah sorry um <laughs> yeah my thing kind of messed up uh i didn't check what microphone it was or my audio is coming from so it's coming from my headset mic and not my desktop mic um yeah so all the audio is messed up and yeah so i'm gonna keep recording it um, normal, normal, you know. Um, <clears throat> but basically, um, this is my new character that I just created. Um, rank one, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> Jakey Zeeb, I don't know. Just come up with the names to be quick. It doesn't really matter. Um, make it something stylish that you want to bounce off of for the rest of your career, I guess. I don't th I'm pretty sure you can't change it unless you're on console. Um, which I am most of the time. This is just my thing if I want to do PC controls. Um, <clears throat> but what you want to do from when you load in, or if you've already played and you just haven't done it, um, this is Mirror Park right here. There is going to be, um, a giant L, and you're going to want to go, um, to this location. There's going to be a cutscene. Um, it's going to start your journey. Uh, you're going to get Lester's contact. Um,. Which means you're gonna be able to call the cops off of you. What you're gonna do, um, you're gonna roll up to this location. Um, I'm gonna cut there. All right, and this is the spot. Um, you're gonna be prompted with a uh, cutscene. Uh, okay. You're gonna be prompted with a cutscene, and then after you're done with that, you are going to be able to go on your phone, um, to the internet. First thing you do, um, head over to Maze Bacon Foreclosure, and. This is the arcade that you um, should buy. Um, by far, it's the most common arcade for people to own. I don't n know what's happening right now, but um, yeah, you just click on this. Um, as you can see, I have 1.4 million dollars. That is because I bought the Criminal Mastermind starter pack, or should I say, um, when Epic Games had a deal with Rockstar, and for free you could get GTA. In the Epic Game Store, um, the Deluxe Edition with the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. But the cool thing is, um, the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack is by far the best thing that you can get. Like, you should not buy any sort of um, shark guards or anything um, that's like beyond me. Um, if you would like to, anything really supports Rockstar, I, I kind of support, but uh, shark cards are not it. But, um, Criminal Master Starter Pack, you can pick it up for $9.99, um, PSN Store, uh, whatever you can get on a PC, I don't know. Rockstar, I guess, I don't know, socialclub.com, who knows, or, just people, I'm stupid, whatever, um, Xbox Store, um, just look up Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, launch up the game, and you should have $1 million, and you get a load of businesses and vehicles, so, honestly, 100% recommend you should totally pick it up, but if you do not have the money, if you're like dead, you just like you not want to spend money um, on the game, which I really recommend getting this first starter pack. It just starts you off with your journey. Um, but this is gonna be a grind because you're gonna have to go through adversary modes, and it's not gonna take too long, maybe like a day or two. But um, after that, this is what you should buy. And until the 20th of August, or 21st, um, Thursday, when the new week comes in, this is actually, like, 500k off, 550k off. So, I'm gonna pick this up. Um, you shouldn't really have to decorate anything. Um, yeah, don't worry about anything quite yet. Um, personal quarters is good to have, but I don't have the money for that right now. And, yeah. This is what you should do at the beginning of the game, in my opinion. Um, this is what I did, um, and I calculated everything that I did, and sort of thing. I don't know. But, I'm gonna pick this up. Boom. 
yeah, I don't know. I know on console it's Y or triangle to get out of that all at once. But, um, you are gonna have to do a couple of setup missions for the arcade to get it up and running so you can do some ice. So, call to that. You guys, I'm so sorry, but funny thing. Um, OBS, um, it started recording this one shot. It kind of lagged out a bit. So the last few recordings that I did, um, they were all just staring at the um, outside of Video Dawn. Or the arcade that I bought for the purpose of this video. And, um, yeah, there's like four recordings that were completely messed up, and I was gonna redo them, but I already completed the mission, and then I checked the, um, files. Um, that kinda sucks, guys, but I'm gonna roll this old heist footage that I got a couple of days ago, um, with my brother. This is actually his first time completing a heist, it's my 50th or 60th, um, but... Uh, the Sound Snakey that we're c performing in this gameplay is by far the hardest um, uh, approach for the heist. And we're getting paintings, so that kind of levels it out. Painting is probably easiest, and you get the most cash from it. Um, but if you have a good heist leader um, that can guide everyone through, then you're, you're golden if you have good listeners. So, what I, um, recommend from there, you could do a couple setup missions, pretty self-explanatory, um, but before you do that, you actually have to sign up as a CEO or MC, which this is why I really recommend the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, that's what it's called, it's a mouthful, um, because you get, um, CEO office and an MC clubhouse, um, both in decent locations, and yeah, you just gotta do one of them, and then you're golden, and you can start doing heists. Um, and the reason this is my method of success in GTA Online is that just the raw, I guess, speed that you can do setups once you get really good at them and you have like a decent group, and then the payout is just amazing. And then once you um, build up enough money, you can end up getting like a motorcycle or something that helps you do setups quicker. Um, I know eventually a Mark II is like, when you're a low level, Mark II is like godly too. But once you have it, it's just, it's just so helpful. And it's kind of annoying how people mistreat the Mark II and fearmonger um, low levels. But anyway, um, besides that t side tangent, um, uh, Mark II, honestly, that's what you should aim for in the end game. Um, with a Mark II, honestly, I can get my setups done hour 30, hour, um, solo. And, uh, even without a Mark II, setups are pretty self explanatory, and doing them solo just means way more money for you. Um, so, like, alright, so if you gave someone 15, 20, percent right then um if you did artwork for example you're you're getting in on hard mode 1.1 1.1 1 .1 million if you get all the paintings 1.1 1 .1 million to 1.5 million dollars um yeah from just one heist if you do it all solo and then invite one other person to do it with you and, um, hacking is a challenge, um, but once you get used to it, it is very easy. Um, but when I do it with new players, I just tell them don't worry about hacking. Um, in this gameplay, I was pretty rusty. I haven't done a casino heist in quite a bit. But, um, once you get really good at it, and once you, um, are shined from the rust, that's probably not a metaphor that people use. Um, but... Uh, yeah, hacking becomes pretty easy. Um, I know from experience, I used to think hacking was above anything else. I always had to get someone else to come hack for me. But, um, don't worry about it for a little while. Get someone good hacking. Don't worry about it. And when you start feeling a little more independent and get some cash, get a heist, um, practice thing. Um, it pops up on the side of the board. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, just pick it up. Um, practice heist or hacking and now but wrapping up whatever I just said um 
hundred percent I recommend doing setups alone, inviting someone in and then honestly you can take so much more money than if you did it with someone else and it wouldn't even take you that much longer. Um because a lot of the setups are solo friendly. Um uh some of them aren't so much but it just takes a tiny bit longer and yeah, that's what I say. And for the approach, um the first time I do recommend doing group A group A G R U P P E um, I recommend doing that for your first thing. It's under Big Con. Um, just look up a guide to um, find every location to take pictures of um, and find uh, the group A thing. It is the by far the easiest way to complete this heist. You just walk in right next to the vault, um, do whatever you need to do, sneak out. If you have someone experienced, they can bonk the dude. Um, it's kind of tricky to do your first or second time. You have to calculate it. Get right next to the guy and bonk him without getting alerted. So, um, with the first bit of cash that you get from your first casino heist, um, getting cash from the vault, not um, artwork or gold, which is gonna get you way more money. Um, well, I forgot to say, the first time you go into the vault, you go, you do one of the setups, and you figure out what's in the vault, what, what can, what, what is being contained, if you will. Um. You, the first time, you always get cash. It's the least, um, you get the least money from it, but hey, it's something. And once you get through it, um, I recommend keep, um, resetting the mission and, um, going back and forth until you end up getting artwork or gold. Um, personally, um, I recommend artwork. It's, um, a lot easier for me because I, I like money. And you you can only do it with two people, or you you can do it with more, but it's recommended for me and a lot of other people. Do recommend it with only two people if you have a decent hacker, and then one person just grab all of the paintings. Um, yeah. And as you can see in the gameplay coming up, um, I recommend when you're doing group A, um, in the gameplay, of course, it sounds sneaky, but uh, you get firefighters just go at the main entrance and. Uh, you go across the road, grab a car, and then watch the gameplay. You go to the helicopter, which is coming up, and yeah, and sound sneaky. You have to loop all the way around and take out a few guys. Uh, the the people in this house are really hard to take out because like they take a lot of shots and they're in bushes. Um, with auto aim, it's easier. Um, I've actually never done it with free aim. Um, keyboard and mouse. Uh, but I imagine it's gonna be harder because you can't lock onto them and they're hiding in the bushes and you can't really have an eye on them and it's really difficult but uh, when you get past everyone um, when you take a left uh, you, um, you just go across the road, steal a car um, at the end of the highway and just follow the route that I'm taking in this video and you should be fine. Uh, you just take the car, um, you go up, just follow the parkour, and it should be a very easy um, 1.1 to 5 million dollars. Come, actually, no, nah, it's probably 600k to 1.6 mil um, that you're gonna be getting from all the other approaches and um, goals and like things that are in the vaults. It's either 600k to 1.5 mil. That's like I'm pretty sure that's the range. It could go higher, could go lower, um, comparing on, you know, your skill level. <coughs> um, but you just want to fly the buyer, and the mission should be complete. I uh, hope you all enjoyed my GTA Online guide. After you get some money, um, I don't recommend spending it immediately. Um, just. I just recommend saving up and watching some other videos on this topic. And yeah, have a splendid day, guys. Love you all. Bye.